I never thought Mr. Rogers was sexy. Rachel, could you talk about why it was important to you to develop their characters around traits of them, each of them as people? Um, Uh, the, there's a risk that you take. There's a risk that you take when making. I guess I'm going to answer the question from a, from a couple angles. One, there's a risk that you take when going into any creative venture, whether it will be successful or not. I wanted this film to be fun, and I knew that I would have fun and be learning by working from a point of truth and discovery with my characters. I really like working with people. Um, I don't. I don't know what it is to have autism, but I wanted, to, I wanted to make a film that would empower my actors to show that. So really the, the, work of the, the work of preparing the feature, the work of preparing the short, took a long time in developing the script. It was a back and forth, long collaboration with the cast. So I would come, I would get to know them and write something and say, I, kind of, I think this is, this is what the emotion is. And then I could test it with them and then revise. So it was this great back and forth and the script becomes something that if successful triggers the, the actor's emotions. So it becomes this kind of little maze of booby traps that create emotional moments for the real people. And I wanted to get the authentic emotion. So involving the cast, like Nikki has written this amazing play that he's going to direct in the feature film. Huh? Well, you're, he's, he's, he's editing it down. It's like 100 pages right now, so it's got to get a little tighter. <laughs> and involving Will's music blog, because that's something that's, you know, he's incredible as a, as, a, as a music reviewer. And so involving, building his character around that then, cr I think, creates these performances that are coming from a real place. <laughs>